Hey guys, so for today's video, I want to do this drugstore spring makeup look. Something a little bit more on the dewy side. I don't know, I was kind of feeling it. And I was kind of feeling this like spring purpley vibe going. <laughs> and I was just really excited to do a makeup look for spring because we are currently in spring now, even though it doesn't always feel like spring in Chicago. But living here, you kind of just get used to it. Anyway, if you guys want to see this drugstore spring makeup look, then just keep on watching. All right, so to start this off, I'm I'm gonna be using the NYX Angel Veil Primer. This is an amazing primer. A little bit on the pricey side for the drugstore though, not gonna lie. I think this thing is like 14 bucks, but it is an amazing primer and it's honestly extremely similar to the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. So this is $14 and that's $32, $35. Something like that. So, kind of justifies. It's a pretty good dupe for that. All right, I want to make my skin a little bit dewier, so I'm going to be using the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. I love setting my face with this when I want to have that fresh, dewy, healthy skin look. This is my go-to. Now, I'm going to skip foundation because for those of you that don't know, I don't like to use foundation. I think especially for a spring look, it's better just to use concealer because I have freckles. I like to make my freckles show. So yeah, that's why I personally just don't use foundation. If you prefer foundation, go ahead and do that step. I'm going to go ahead and skip that step and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. You guys, this concealer is amazing. It's only $3. I highly suggest going and picking this up. Now I want to have a bright under eye, so I'm kind of going to drag this down a little bit. Gonna put a little bit on my forehead just to like even it out. I'm gonna go ahead and buff this out with the Morphe M335 brush. Love this brush for blending out my concealer. It is honestly the best. And then I blend out my concealer kind of downwards and I just really buff it in. And this is how I get it to really blend into my skin. And I just keep kind of like dragging it downwards. I drag it around my nose, just a tiny bit on my lids. Gonna put a little bit of this around my nose because I'm a woman and hormones suck. On the pimples I'm starting to develop because again, when Aunt Flo comes to visit, you tend to get a lot of pimples and she tends to stress you out. So my mom would always say, yeah, you get your period. You're gonna be a woman. It's gonna be great. And I was so excited and now I regret that. Really quickly, I'm just gonna go ahead and set my under eyes and my lids with the RCMA No Color Powder. Gonna set my smile lines as well because I tend to make a lot of facial expressions. All right, now before I go and set the rest of my face, I am going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Contour. I'm gonna be taking my Equal Tools sponge, gotta have it on this side of the sponge, and I'm just gonna start stamping it in where my cheekbone is. And if you have a hard time finding your cheekbone, make that face. You'll find it. And then I take the back of it and I just stamp it in and it starts to blend out as you can see. Really, really been loving this though. And it's so cheap. I think this was only like four bucks. And I feel like it's just as good as like a high-end one. Not like I've ever actually used a high-end one, but I feel like it's just as good because this is honestly like really freaking good. I don't know how it can get any better than this. And it lasts all day too. Contour my nose just a tiny bit. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that Wet n Wild concealer and just to even everything out, I'm gonna put this down the center of my nose and just blend that out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set some of the rest of my face with this RCMA No Color Powder. I'm pretty much only gonna set this on the sides of my face just because I still wanna look nice and dewy for this look. So I don't wanna put too much powder, just a little bit. And I don't wear foundation, so I like to set my face very lightly with a powder just so everything else I put on all blends in better and lasts a little bit longer. Now I'm gonna be taking the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. You guys, I am obsessed with this butter bronzer. It's so freaking good and it smells like a tropical paradise. It's honestly the best bronzer ever, drugstore and high-end. Gonna go ahead and dip my mermaid contour brush in this. And I'm doing bronzer so you can have a little bit of fun with this. And I'm just putting this all over my cheekbone and just blending it around. I want to look nice and bronzy because this is a spring look and we want to look like we've been in the sun for spring break even though you've been in Chicago and been gloomy and rainy but you know what I'm gonna imagine I've been at a beach this weekend so it's fun to use your imagination as I go and cry in the corner they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine 
fine when you're not really fine. I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. This has quickly become one of my favorite blushes of all time. It's so freaking good. Forget if I said the color. It's called Mellow Wine. <sighs> so freaking good, you guys. You have no idea. The only thing I don't like, it is very pigmented. However, if you tap your brush ever so lightly, dust it off, and then gently pat it on your cheeks. It gives such a beautiful color and just gradually build it up. You don't wanna add blush too heavy handed because you really don't wanna end up looking like a clown. Any kind of blush, I recommend just tapping in lightly and just gradually build it up to the way you like it. For my highlight today, I'm going to be mixing two highlights. These are from ColourPop and they are called the Super Shock Cheek. One is in the shade Hippo and the other one is in the shade Lunch Money. I think I'm gonna add Hippo first and then put lunch money over top. I recommend normally doing this with a beauty blender, but I'm kind of lazy to go wash mine. So I'm just going to do this with my finger. It works really well too. Also doing this with your finger. So it's fine. I'm going to go ahead and just add this to my cheeks. You know, what? I might just leave it at the hippo one because I think I have a look in mind where it would go best with this one. So I actually might just leave it at that. I'm also going to add this to my cupid's bow and then a little bit down the bridge of my nose. All right, so I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air palette. First shade I'm gonna dip into is this matte eggshell shade. I really need to do my nails, by the way, so just don't look at them, just ignore them. I have a very bad nail biting habit, so if you get disgusted, I apologize. And just blend this all over my lid. This is basically just gonna help us set down all the other shades that we put. The next color I wanna go into is this really pretty springy purple looking color. I'm gonna grab my Morphe E30 brush, and then I'm just gonna place this color on the outer corner of my eye and then in my crease as well. And I'm really gonna try to build this color up and pack it on. And I just wanna keep layering it until it gets gradually darker as you can see. Now I'm gonna be taking my Morphe M433 brush. I'm gonna take that same purple shade and I'm just gonna build it up even more on the outer corners. Just a little bit to give us a little bit more dimension with this color. And as you can see, it just made it a little darker. The more you add a color, the gradually darker it will get. I'm now going to be taking this ColourPop shade called Made to Last. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this at the very top, just to blend out that color even better. For my lid, I'm gonna be grabbing this ColourPop shadow called Snake Eyes. I'm just gonna go ahead and dip this in with my finger. These do have some fallout, so just be a little careful with it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to my inner lid. Gonna grab a little bit more of that purple shade from the Wet n Wild palette and just blend this out. I'm really gonna regret this because it's gonna hurt, but I feel like it'll look really cool. Again, you guys have seen me say this in my other videos. I honestly really do not recommend these. I do if you don't mind pain. Every single time I put these on my lids, it hurts like really, really bad, <laughs> just so you guys know, but I do really want some glitter with this look and this is all drugstore, so I'm still gonna use it. This is the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner and I'm going to be using the color Crystal Pink and I just kind of wanted to add like a little something more to this lid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place this across my crease. All right, sorry, my camera died. So you guys didn't get to see me do it on this side, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this side for you guys. I'm just kind of gonna lift up my lid and keep your lid lifted. Do not close your eye. Otherwise this is gonna go everywhere and you don't want that. Close your eye and just let that dry for a second. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some mascara and lashes and I will be right back. All right, so I went ahead and popped on my lashes. The lashes I am using are these Siren Lashes from House of Lashes because I think they're so dainty and beautiful for springtime. And the mascara I am using today is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. So for my lower lash line, I kinda wanted to do a fun color. So I'm going to be using this color from the Wet n Wild palette. I'm gonna be taking my little mermaid pencil brush, dip into that color, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and start blending this out on my lower lash line and very close to my lower lash line. And that's all I'm gonna do for the lower lash line. I just kinda wanted to do a fun color with that. Now for my lower waterline, I wanted to do something kind of fun and this rose gold color was kind of speaking my name. This is another thing that Jake's Goldworker gave me to try out, so I'm really excited to try this. It is the Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen and this one is in the shade, oh maybe these don't have names. It's the rose gold looking one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on my waterline. 
Guys, these are so pigmented. I love these. I'm gonna go ahead and pop some mascara on my lower lash line. For my inner corners and brow bone highlight, I'm going to be taking that Hippo Super Shock shadow again. Put it on my finger and then just place that on my inner corners and then my brow bone. I'm going to be taking the Brink Matte Lippy Stick from ColourPop. Go ahead and put this all over my lips. I'm going to go ahead and add the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream over top in the shade Stockholm. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add the Aquarius Lip Gloss over top. Now I'm just going to set the rest of my face with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. And that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this drugstore spring makeup look. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And have a great rest of your night or day, wherever you guys may be. I will see you guys in my next video. And remember, stay weird, my friends. Bye, you guys. Well, actually, yes. Ah, sorry. Face with these, with this, this butter, butter bra. I will see you guys. I will see you guys. What?